Hi guys and welcome to today's video where I'm going to test out a £3 dupe of the Naked 3 palette and tell you guys whether it actually works and I bought this palette about a month ago off of Amazon. I will leave the link to the palette in the description bar below and I think it was £3 and obviously the Naked 3 palette is over £30 so this is 10% of the price of this so if it does work then this is an absolute miracle if you want more videos like this be sure to like up this video and tell me in the comment bar below and remember to subscribe to my channel it's completely free it just notifies you when i upload new videos and the button is just down there and yes without further ado let's just get right on with the video so starting off just with the naked 3 palette it looks like this it's very kind of classy on the front and when you open it up it has um, a mirror and then it has the eyeshadows on this side so the colors as you can see are very neutral there's lots of pinks there's lots of golds and a few browns they're also very glittery um, as well as you can see I've kind of gone down to pan in quite a few of these because this is my favorite eyeshadow palette ever um, it goes on very well and I also like the brush that comes with it very very much I use this for my eyeshadow all of the time so yes just keep this in mind when I do the comparison now so this by contrast the first thing that I can see is that the packet of it is just definitely not as nice as the Naked 3 palette. Maybe it's because I love rose gold and this is rose gold, but this just looks a lot cheaper. But apart from that, if I look inside, the first thing that I notice is that it doesn't have a mirror, which is the thing that I like about the Naked 3 palette. But if you look at all the shades, they are broadly similar to the Naked 3 shades. If I put one against the other, as you can see, they are very, very similar um, in tone and in shade and in the amount of kind of glittery ones that they have. The only thing that I would say is that the kind of gold glitter is more kind of orange in the um, cheap one than it is in the Naked 3 palette. Perhaps the Naked 3 ones look like they're a bit better quality but I think like on the surface these look pretty good. The one thing though that I would say that really lets down this £3 palette is the applicator. I hate these like sponge applicator things. That one's a sponge, I hate it. The other one is like a brush, which is great. Brushes are really good, but this is such a small brush. Compared to the size of this brush, it's literally tiny. Like you cannot get like any eyeshadow on your eye with that brush so I'd recommend if you were buying this um, palette to invest in a better brush but anyway now I'm going to try to swatch um, these colours of the cheap palette on with my Naked 3 palette eyeshadow brush because I cannot use that other one so I'm just going to go in firstly with the gold one and this is one that I really like um, in the Naked 3 palette and the first thing that I get from this is that it goes on so lightly onto your skin like you barely get any product every single time you put it on your skin just for the sake of comparison I'm going to put on the Naked 3 one as well I would say the pigmentation of this is not great <laughs> but okay I'm going to try now like the deepest black Color because this is great on the Naked 3 palette. Okay, this goes into my hand very smoothly. I really like it. You can see the glitter in it like you can see it on the um, normal Naked 3 palette. And I'll once again just use a tiny bit of this black from the Naked 3 palette and put it onto my hand. It literally has the same kind of effect. It has the same kind of color and I'm I'm very, very impressed with this so far. And now, although I already have some eyeshadow on, I'm just going to try to apply the cheaper palette, just some of the colors onto my eye, just to kind of see how they look. Okay, they don't, they don't look too bad. The sparkly colors are nice. This is quite like a soft palette, really, that um, you don't get much drop down on your eyes, which is a really great thing because I feel like with normal cheap palettes you get lots of drop down and using a bit more of the glittery on the top of my eyes I think it looks pretty good so I definitely give a good review to um the kind of lighter shades um which are glittery but now I'm just going to try out the kind of lighter shade which in the Naked 3 palette is um like a light pink kind of color whereas 
Um, the one in the cheap palette is actually like yellow. So I don't know how I feel about that. Um, mm, mm. This doesn't seem to make any effect whatsoever on my face at all. Okay, that was a little bit of a disappointment. Don't like that light colour, but I will try some of the darker colours now and see whether like the pigmentation of them is quite good. Dark colours are kind of quite weak as colours onto your eyes. Um, but it just totally depends what kind of look you're going for. If you're looking for like a weak, smoky eye look, then this palette seems to be really good um, because it gives you the colours, perhaps you just have to kind of build on those colours, whereas the Naked 3 palette, you have those really strong colours straight away. But I would say like on my eye, it feels very smooth as well. It's very easy um, to put on. And the colours in general are very nice. So yes, if I was to rate this palette out of 10, I would probably rate it like a seven. The only thing I don't like about it is firstly the applicator brush. And secondly, this light colour, I really don't like. But these other colours, they're very good, they're very buildable, um, they have okay pigmentation, they're not as great as the Naked 3 palette, but they're not that bad, and plus for like three pounds. I don't think you can really go wrong with this palette. This is a great starter palette if you're not wanting to invest like 35 pounds into the Naked 3 palette. If you'd like me to do kind of a comparison my makeup tutorial video please um leave that in the description bar below and yes thank you so much for watching i know this is a little bit different than my normal videos but i bought that palette and i just really wanted to test it out and i'm really happy with the quality of that palette considering it costs so little money so yes thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time guys bye i love you